We are here today because Colin and Callie have expressed their belief that God has drawn them together in a deep and abiding love for one another. They stand before you today to make marriage vows and to pledge their faithfulness to each other before God. Colin and Callie, may this service be a proper reflection of who God is and what He has done in your lives. May it be a constant reminder to you of the covenant relationship you are entering today. Great wedding ceremonies are nice, but great marriages build the kingdom of God. And marriage is God's institution. May both this ceremony and your marriage together bring honor and glory to God. Callie, you are my whole world. I do not say this lightly. I promise to stay by your side through thick and thin. I promise to support you as we pursue our dreams together. I will stop at nothing to ensure that you, as my wife, are fulfilling your life goals. And the biggest thing I look forward to is the family and household we are about to create. I pray that God watches over us and continues to bless us as a couple. You are one of a kind, and as a young man, I could not ask for a better wife. With that being said, let's enjoy this day together. But most of all, here's to a wonderful, long, and loving life together. Since you and God. Colin, I can't believe how long we have waited for this day. I have loved you since the very first day and it has only grown over the years. You encourage me to be my best self. I promise to do the same for you and our future children one day. I have so much confidence in you as a man, a husband, and father. I couldn't have handpicked a better man for me because God handpicked you for me himself. I will love you more each day that we grow together towards God. I am so excited to see you and celebrate our love. Today will be the most perfect day. I love you, your bride, Cal. You look gorgeous. <laughs> The duration and fulfillment of your marriage is based on how much each partner pursues the heart of the other. The temptation is for you to walk away from today and say the pursuit is over, but the real pursuit starts now, that you would pursue her heart as she deserves, that you would pursue his heart like he deserves, and we see what God blossoms from that. Today we celebrate our great God and his great gospel. Callie, you are the bride and you represent the church. You symbolize a people made clean by the blood of Christ. You have waited for this day your entire life, and in the same way the church waits expectantly for her bridegroom to return for her. I'm calling you the bridegroom, and your heart toward Callie should reflect the heart of Jesus Christ for his bride, the church. He's called you to be the spiritual leader of your home. I challenge you today to pray with him and to set a Christ-like example in your home. God does not give you unbridled authority, Rather, He gives you leadership that comes with responsibility and accountability. And Callie, as Colin strives to be that man and to love you unconditionally, you are to respect Him in the Lord. God has called you to be the best wife you can be, to be His helper in life and in ministry. Your role is not one of inferiority, as some would say, but one of great significance in God's plan for your family and for your marriage. Colin, I'm taking Callie to be your wife. Do you promise to love and encourage her, to honor and support her in sickness and in health, in poverty and in wealth, in bad times as well as good, and forsaking all others to be true to her as long as you live? I do. And Callie, in taking Colin to be your husband, do you promise to love and encourage him, to honor and support him in sickness and in health, in poverty and in wealth, in bad times as well as good, and forsaking all others, to be true to Him as long as you live. I do. I 
I now pronounce you husband and wife. What therefore God has joined together, let not man separate. Colin, you may kiss your bride. I want to tell you a little story about Callie when she was a little girl. When she was like four, she loved Skittles. And I remember one day she had a handful of Skittles and a bag of Skittles. And she came down the driveway and she fell. She went face first into the cement because she loved those Skittles so much she wasn't going to let them go. And I remember when Callie and Colin came to North Carolina, I saw Callie look at Colin and I said, oh my God, she is in love with this boy. This is her new bag of Skittles. <laughs> so Colin, I want you to have this to put on your desk at work to remind you that you have a girl that will give you a face first into the cement kind of love. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you, for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Colin Washburn.